there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker and this is the final cider that I'll be doing before my top 10 cider producers of 2017 it's that time again to do basically my favourite cider producers of the year well anyway that's going to be for another video but today for this review, I've decided to do a cider that I actually got very cheap from my home bargain store. And it is, I actually don't know the name of the company. What is the one on the back? Um, apparently it's from Tillington Fruit Farm. That's all I know. It's their acre number 637. Um, single estate rare apple cider. Uh, well, rare apple cider, that's always good. Um, always good to have some rare varieties of apples. Um, but yeah, Tillington Farm. Don't know if that's the actual company, if that's the location. I haven't got a clue. But I got this for uh, a quid from Home Bargains. So, can't sniff at that. And as you can see, comes in 500ml bottles. And it's 4.5% ABV, so pretty standard ABV. So, probably like a nice session cider, hopefully. So, let's see what it says on the back. Acre number 637. Only a few know where. Acre number 637 holds a secret like no other. Deep in the heart of our Tillington farm, one unmarked acre is home to the very rarest of our 100, 100, sorry, 1,000 rescued heritage apple varieties. These varieties, blended with our finest Tillington cider apples, create such a distinctive and rare cider that the whereabouts remains a secret. Only a select few know the location, and to the rest, it's known as acre number 637. So, um, yeah, that's... A really good story but doesn't actually tell me a lot about the cider the apple varieties used or anything like that so it would be nice to know that um, and it's been it's been a while hasn't it but there you go uh, sorry fat ladies you can't have this and cars can't have it either bugger me honestly cars are really getting a bad rap these days for not being able to have cider but there we go so well seeing as I don't know much about the company don't know much about the cider might as well get it cracked open just see what lies underneath. Is this going to be a taste sensation? Let's find out. Let's get a whiff. Smells just like a um. I tell you what that smells like. That smells exactly like Henry Weston's Medium Dry. Little um off dry nose there, but um, little touch of acidity maybe. But overall, nothing too um nothing too fancy so far. So well, let's get it. Let's get it poured in the glass. Maybe uh. The smells are all going to be in the glass, so here we go. But as I said, you know, even if it's rubbish for a quid, it's not too bad. Can't complain about that too much. Right, there we go, all in the glass. Go in for the colour test. Quite hefty carbonation, as you can see. It's holding a little bit of froth on the top there. That'll probably disappear very, very quickly. But uh, um, I would say probably a standard standard cider colour really, uh, well shelf cider anyway like from the supermarket, sort of like a off amber colour there yeah, looks pretty standard in the glass, any more smells? it's just smelling like a um, like a, a, a very bog standard typical cider to be honest I'm not smelling any new aromas, new noses, or uh, new like scents or anything like that Nothing really blown me away, just as I say, smells slightly dry, um, maybe a, 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 I say a touch of tannins on the nose there, but um, generally smells like any other medium dry shop bought cider really, so maybe the rare apples are in the taste, so let's find out shall we. Cheers guys, here's to Tillington Farms, well I'm assuming that's their name, number, well acre number 637, cheers. Go for a second opinion. Well, that's um, wholly uninteresting. <laughs> um, it's a tad sweeter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to typically be a sort of medium dry cider that you get, uh, but it's actually 
a little bit of a sweeter tasting cider than I thought it was going to, uh, going to be. But it's still got those typical medium dry, short bought cider characteristics. You know, quite a light body behind it. Um, it's not really got much in the way of an aftertaste. It's got a sort of an off dry finish to it. Uh, but it, it, it it's quite refreshing, I suppose you could say, because it, you know, it has got sort of a juicy sort of mouthfeel behind it. But aside from that, not really a lot else going on in this glass. Although, in its defence, I'm not getting any, um, any sugary, syrupy textures behind it. I'm not getting any, um, you know, any, any, like, clogging up at the back of the throat from, like, added sugars and sweeteners. So, I'm hoping that there isn't anything artificial added into this, in which case it does get, sort of, brownie points for that. Um, and yes, in a way, I can see this being a really good sessionable cider, because, it, you know, it does have some... Some nice sort of tastes to it, but there's nothing really outstanding or anything that's making me go, whoa, this is an amazing drink. But I mean, you know, for a quid, get four bottles of this down or maybe more, and yeah, I can see someone having a, having a good session with this, but let's go in for a final taste before our final verdict. Okay, yeah, um, it's totally inoffensive for uh, for what it is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's 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 got some nice little tastes there. Um, I can't taste anything artificial about it, and generally, yeah, no, it's it's all right. It's it's not absolutely mind blowing, but you know, I'd happily have another bottle of this again. So if you see it for cheap. You know, give it a go. Get a couple of bottles in, get your mates around the summit, have a bloody good time. So, with that said, Tennington Farms Acre number 637 is going to get a 6 out of 10. Uh, as for the rare apple varieties, not getting that at all, to be honest. I'd love to know what the apple varieties are, because, well, I can't really taste them in this one. But as I said, that doesn't mean it's not a, it's a, it's a bad tasting cider, which it isn't. Um, just... Not a lot going on. So there we go, that is another episode of the Cider Drinker Via, guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back, well, actually, I'll be back with my top 10 cider producers of 2017. So watch out for that next time. Till then, I am going to go and finish off this glass of acre number 637. And, well, I'm looking forward to the other 636 acres that these uh, guys are going to bring out for us. Take care, guys. Until next time.